Ciao, I'm Liz from SimpleItalianCooking.com. I'm going to show you how to use a stovetop espresso maker to make your own espresso right in your own kitchen. Stovetop espresso makers come in a variety of sizes and even shapes, but the basic principle is the same. This particular one is a stainless steel espresso maker. It comes in three parts. We have the bottom part, which is where the water goes. And you never want to pour the water above this pressure valve. So we're going to add the water in now. And it'll probably be about three-fourths of the way. And that's good. The second part is the filter. And this is where the ground espresso goes. And you only want to use ground espresso. If you try to use ground coffee, the taste will be very different and uh, very weak. You don't want to do that. You really want to use the espresso. It's a stronger um, coffee roast. So we go ahead and pack that lightly. And I like mine really strong. So I'm going to put a little bit more in. And we go ahead and add that. Now the top part, we call this the upper chamber, is where uh, there's a stem. And what happens is the water will boil from the bottom, go through the ground uh, espresso, and will come right up into this upper chamber. And that's where we pour it from. So we go ahead and put the top on. And you want to make sure that you screw it very tight because you don't want any water to leak out from the side. And then we put it on the edge of the burner and we turn it to high. Now, this is a glass stove top, and you can use this on any stove top, but uh, if you're using a gas stove top, you want to have it more towards the center. If that's a problem because of your opening, uh, you can purchase uh, like plates or grates that go right, sit right on top and allow you to put something without it, having to worry about it, it tipping in. So uh, we're going to give this just a few minutes to heat up. We'll hear it boiling, and uh, our espresso will be ready. I can tell that our espresso is done. It stopped uh, making the boiling noise, so I want to turn this off. Now keep in mind, the reason why I said to put this on the edge of the burner, I can touch this handle. It's not hot, so it keeps it away from the heat. If that's not possible with your type of stove, use a, um, an oven mitt or a uh, pot holder to protect your hand and simply move it to another burner and let it sit and cool just for a minute or so, or just pour, pour it right away, but make sure you're protecting your hand. So we want to go ahead and pour this right into our espresso cups. And I hope you found this video useful. Uh, now you know how to use a stovetop espresso maker. Keep in mind too, and I do this myself, is I also use this to make lattes or cappuccinos. Just simply add some milk and use a nice milk frother to, to make it foamy. Well, take care and thank you very much for watching this video. Ciao.